at night free camping. It's nice. I think we slept a little bit better, but Hank woke up in the middle of the night. I don't think he felt good. So he laid with me, which gave me no room at all. Um, but it was warmer that way, so... I don't know. Maybe Hank was cold. Anyways, we need a shower and a bed. And it's going to be colder here now because it's overcast and it was supposed to rain. We're going down to southeast Idaho to Craters of the Moon. Um, hopefully we can find a hotel or motel around there. Or we'll keep driving. So we'll see. right over here are snowy mountains and then over here are just areas of it looks like black dirt but I think it's rock and it's just kind of pushed up on the ground very strange very different geological formations that close together how it happened and it's raining of course so wonderful weird and just across the road are mountains So I'm at Craters of the Moon, which is really weird. So 2,000 years ago, nearby volcanoes were erupted so violently that they tore themselves apart. Rivers of lava floated huge chunks of crater down, crater wall down to this spot. Time passed, rocks crumbled, the seeds of rabbit brush and limber pine took root in the sparse soil. A hundred years ago, a visitor, visiting minister declared this jumble of rock shrubs trees to be a garden fit for the devil himself. Great. So we're in Devil's orchard. So all of Craters of the Moon is basically from volcanoes erupting and lava flow. And Hank is not allowed anywhere, so he has to wait for me in the car. But it's overcast and cloudy and I'm not going far, so he'll be okay. That is Inferno Cone. So it's from a volcanic eruption where everything kind of lands. So we climb it. So all the lava and ash and everything landed here. But it probably didn't actually erupt out of here. It probably blew and landed here. Is what they say. This is on top of Inferno Cone. Just a black mountain. You can see all the craters of the moon. Just more ice.
to fix it. So these, that, are spatter cones, miniature volcanoes formed when blobs of molten lava uh, were lobbed into the air during the last gas of an eruption sequence that ended about 2100 years ago. Okay. Let's go this way. Definitely looks like something came out of there. Lava came from down there. These are the lava cascades. Well, the rock in front of you once held back a molten lake of lava. When the lava leaked through the cracks in this natural dam, fiery rivers of lava throw to, flowed across the landscape to the east. It's crazy. And walk into the caves and craters of the moon. Hank isn't allowed to come. So, I gotta make this quick trip. But he's patient. And all this rock is like porous. It's light. It's not heavy. You can tell that lava like opened it up and it dried. down in this cave. That lava made. This is creepy. Why am I the only one here? a lot of bat shit down there. There are lots of bats here. Which makes sense. So. Ugh. Okay. This is when you want to be traveling with somebody.
removed. Holy crap. So I'm down in this cave, you can't see much, but it's cold, it's wet, it's rocky. There's the ceiling. I'm the only one here, so let's uh, go to the next cave. Cave number two called Boy Scout Cave. It has lava and ice stalactites, apparently. And it has icy around down in here. And I let these people go first. Not my jam. I'm squatting on this rock and the ceiling is right there. doesn't feel safe. Yeah, nope, nope. I'm gonna just... Go back. Cave number three. Beauty cave. Looks bigger. Here we go. Flashlight. Oh. Don't step on that rock. Or that one. better. This is a better case. Okay. It's pretty. <sighs> oh. 
real quick. Oh god, why is no one else here? Water dripping. get lost if you go too far and forget the way out. That won't happen.